Why don't you start by introducing yourselves? Bloody Diamonds. Bloody Diamonds. Yeah. I mean, like, your name. Oh, no, I, uh, <laughs> what do you play? I, I, Jake, I play guitar. I might can play drums. Sarah, I sing. Play keyboard. Oh, you play keyboard, too. Um, I didn't realize you guys were a three-piece. I thought there was four. We are there, a four-piece. We just don't know where our bass player is. Oh, he kind of <laughs> took off, did he? He's around somewhere. Oh, uh, So, I was going to ask if this is the first time you guys have been in Newfoundland, but you just mentioned before we started filming that you you have played here before. Yeah, we've played so, been here a couple of times before, yeah. It's always a good time, though, so I mean, yeah. I hope you'll be back. Uh, where have you played before? Uh, usually around this deck, man. Yeah. Really? CBs, yeah. Lovey, Scorchin, Cumbershine. Cool. Cumbershine's in Corner Brook before, uh, White Horse Lounge or whatever, but that's uh, Corner Brook. Oh. Um, so, I was also going to ask you, like, what the Levy is like and Distortion and CBT is compared to uh, bars that you play in other places, like on the mainland. Uh, open later. They want to stay open, really. Yeah, they're less less strict. Beer's way cheaper than anywhere else you ever play. Are they at least yeah, cheaper? other than like Texas and something. But. Other so, like, where have you guys been besides Canada? Like, you mentioned Texas and so Florida. Just the U.S. Just so, the U.S. Really yeah. Okay. Um. So, how would you? Describe the sound of the music. This one, or should I, yeah. I think, like, kind of like early Black Sabbath, but modernized with emo. Okay. Um, you guys ever heard of Blood Ceremony? I uh, heard of them. Yeah. I feel like I don't know. I've listened to your stuff like enough, and I feel like there's a bit of a comparison there. I've heard some people say though before that uh, you sound kind of like the White Stripes, maybe a little bit. Like, how much of those bands, like Black Sabbath and White Stripes, actually influenced your music? Well, we never listened to Black Sabbath no? until yeah, Black someone Sabbath told us we sounded like Black like, Sabbath. We were like, oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> well, check <laughs> it out, though, <laughs> man. I was like, oh, shit, look at that. Yeah, so <laughs> that's kind of a weird one. But uh, the Dead Weather, so, like, anything Jack White, also Mozart, with the kills of the Dead Weather, that's pretty much where the band formed from. But let's think of the dead weather. Well, uh, would you uh, like actually? Would you pigeonhole yourselves into a genre, or would you just say that you're a rock band? Usually, I say a rock band. Yeah. I don't know what else you call it. You want more detail? That's cool, but it's a general. It's rock, 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 rock band. That's fair. A lot of bands have that way. A lot of, bands seem to think that way. You know, a lot of musicians. It's usually the fans who end up pigeonholing. Yeah. Them, right. Yeah. Um, call whatever they want. Show calling it that. Uh, so you just released your new EP, Tough Love. Um, you guys are pretty excited about that, I guess. Yeah, uh, Tough Love. That's good. Cool. Yeah. New EP. I don't know. I think it's our best stuff we've done yeah. so far. Yeah. I find that a lot of bands they uh, they think that like their newest album is always the best stuff they've ever done, but. A lot of fans always say that the first album a band puts out is the best because they've been playing those songs for so long that like so much more heart goes into it. So, would you say that about yours, maybe? I don't. I don't think so. I don't know. I think no, people like, like these new songs a lot. Some people, yeah, yeah like, more than <laughs> obviously some people like older fans have known the older songs longer, like might sing the words more or whatever. But new song, people are catching on to the new songs. I think they're. I think we put more love into these songs, more care, and just make better songs. Okay. Well, opposite of um, um, So how long have you guys been on the go? Like, where did you first meet? Have you guys been friends for like a long time before you started playing music together? Uh, sort of. Yeah, like me and Sarah have known each other for a while, a long time. The band's been together for like five years, but we've had different drummers and bass players. Mike's been with us for like a couple months. So how yeah, you killing it, slaying it for a couple months. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I've been in it since uh, like late June ish, so just kind of jumped into it. But in general, we've been going at it for five years. 
Uh, how do you find playing in the band? Like, what did you were you in a band before you joined these guys? Or? Yeah, like I've I've been in bands over the years, and like like I was even in a band once because uh, I lived in Fredericton, New Brunswick, for some time, and uh, yeah, like I was in a band and Bloody Diamonds and the band I was in played a show together. You know what I mean? So it's, it's been, been a while. Around been around. Around. I've been around. around. I've been around. Yeah, he's small. Yeah, he's yeah. close to small. We already knew him. Yeah. 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 So, um, you guys are, you're from Toronto, right? We live in, we live in Toronto now, yeah. So where are you originally from? Halifax. Oh, yeah. Now it makes sense as to why you played here before. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah we lived in Halifax for all years. Oh, yeah. Years the band, yeah. Like uh, how do you find the music scene here in Atlanta, Canada, compared to that of Toronto and, like, the greater mainland? For us, we love you guys. Yeah, it's it's always Thanks. been hard on the East Coast because it's such small towns, and you know, there's there really it's not, hasn't. It's not fair to compare Toronto. Yeah, it's not. To, uh, it's not a good comparison. Toronto's gigantic. There's a huge scene with people that wear all black and only listen well, to rock music. There's that many more people or whatever, yeah. right? Like yeah. the entire so. population of the East Coast. So like every man, like you can, all the cities around here, you can plenty of money. Yeah, so we do do a lot better in Toronto. It's like night and day compared to the East Coast, but you know we still got fans on the East Coast. We still like the East Coast. We still, like, we're still, we're still a great East Coast scene. Like uh, with all the the local bands and the people that come out to shows. Usually it's always like the same. It's kind of like a small community, you know, which is really nice. It's just small. It's been so. like that. Yeah, yeah, that's it's how I feel because like all the bands who play these bars. They're all friends with each other, and they all know each other, and all the fans are friends with them. Yeah, so yeah. like, you can't do or say anything without anyone knowing about it. <laughs> that's the that's the thing with uh, like Newfoundland compared to Toronto, I guess. I wouldn't know because I've never lived away from here before. Um, so do you guys have day jobs, or is this like full time? Thing? We got day jobs. We got jobs. Oh yeah. We're like. Um, I'm like a sound guy, you know, and yeah, yeah. I would say like catering for like uh, TV and movie sets, like craft service type of stuff or whatever. I don't know, like, it's good. We're all right. Entertainment ish. <laughs> they go with the band good. Could be worth it. Could be worth it. Yeah, yeah it's still working. It's hard to make it big uh, as like a rock star these days, I guess. <laughs> um, I mean, like, I'm a musician myself, but I I don't think I'll ever go anywhere with it, especially playing black metal, right? That's what I do. Yeah. Um, so, who handles the writing in the band, like, lyric-wise? Do you do that Lyrics? yourself? Yeah. Yeah. It's all you. Um, yeah, I write the lyrics for a song and the melody, and bring it to Jake, and he writes all the riffs. Pretty much it. We're pretty, we're pretty uh, good with the song running at this point. We know how each other works, so, you know. We've got a good dynamic. Though. We both know what we want the songs to sound like. So. Yeah. Um, so, like, when you're coming up with melodies, do you do that like vocally or on your keyboard? Or depends. It always varies. Normally, I just think of something like, oh shit, that would be a really good song, and then I. I record it a little really quickly and then, yeah. Do you like play any other instruments besides keyboard or is that just like... Uh, guitar a little bit. Sometimes I'll write a song on guitar, but I'm not that great of a guitar player, so it's pretty basic chords that I can play. Um, so like, when it comes to writing lyrics... <laughs> Someone's having a party! Oh, yeah. Joy Street! <laughs> Um, so when it comes to writing lyrics, uh, what do you usually write about? Like, is it just kind of stuff that comes to mind, or is it like you have like recurring themes throughout it, or? Uh, that really varies. Sometimes I'll make up a story in my head, and that'll become the lyrics. Or sometimes it's personal, but I normally completely over exaggerate them and make it a lot weirder than it actually is. So yeah, it's, it varies. It's always good. Um, so, you guys excited about playing with Levy tonight? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm 
Yeah, traveled so long to get here. It took two days to get here from Halifax. So. You guys took the ferry over, I'm guessing? Yeah. 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 Overnight ferry, 12 hour drive. And we drove across the island. Old school. The scenic route, you know. <laughs> yeah, 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 the scenic route across the entire island. <laughs> it was nice though. Uh, how long have you been on tour? When did you start this tour? Just like last week. Okay. Yeah. So where did you, you started in Toronto, I guess, and then kind of worked your way down here? Montreal was the first show, yeah. We've been heading out east so far. And after here, we turn around and we're going to the west, all the way out to like Vancouver or whatever. And then back across Canada, yet again, back to Toronto. <laughs> it's a long drive. Yeah. Um, so, this might seem like a bit of a cliche question, but what's it like, you know, being on tour for that long, going all the way across the country and back? Uh, in the same band, in the same four people. Oh, I just want you know when we actually get across the other side of the country. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't know. It's definitely a tight squeeze, tight space, but so far, no one's killed anyone yet or anything. Really not really not. Half the time, everyone's just sleeping, so yeah. taking naps. You guys like being on tour? Is it like a crew? Really Awesome, fun thing to do, or is it more kind of like a, like a slog for you? No, it's it's pretty awesome for the most part. Yeah. yeah, sometimes when you gotta drive like fucking forever, it sucks. But for the most part, yeah, it's pretty fucking. Very excited. Very fun. We're excited to be out here. Yeah. Awesome. So, <laughs> so, go ahead. Oh no. Go ahead. Okay. Um. So you guys are playing tonight and tomorrow night. Um. Do you know like the opening bands that are playing for you, or the guys you're playing with, or are they like kind of, fun? kind of, Have you pretty heard much? No, everyone's in the Motors band is gonna play. Yeah, some friends from last from CVs are playing in one band. I don't know, like you said, everyone here just plays in the same like twenty bands or so. So I'm sure I know everyone that's playing tonight. <laughs> just it's a different band. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Apparently, one of the guys is cousins with our drummer, but. Trying to figure that out since we I don't know about it. I don't know. I don't know. So uh, after you finish this tour, what's next for you guys? Do you plan on going back to the studio to start writing again, or just to take break? Yeah, yeah no. I'd say when we get back from this tour, it's gonna be like wintery, so we won't be touring. Uh, we'll be writing and recording a bit. I'm just gonna try to make a new tour. Yeah, we're gonna make a new tour first. We'll worry about that first. You haven't got any like. Future plans. Yeah, the future, yeah. And we got some shows lined up when we get back and stuff like that, but nothing too, like, too crazy. Yeah, we'll see what comes up. Cool. Uh, well, I think that's actually all that I had. Um, thanks a lot for doing this, guys. Yeah. Thank you. And uh, have a fun show. Good luck with it. Yeah. <laughs>